COVID-19 is causing so much pain in our lives. Of course we're focused on the here and now, but we don't ever want to live through something like this again. We shouldn't wait to lower the risks of future pandemics. As a start, we have to understand the cause of this one and the ones before, our treatment of animals. Ebola, SARS, MERS, avian flu, and other deadly outbreaks are all linked directly towards our treatment of animals. The same is true with the crisis we're in now. The virus that causes COVID-19 has been linked to a wet market where wild and farm animals, both dead and alive, are bought and sold for people to eat. I know it's easy sometimes to point outward and to blame other people, other countries, for the situation we're all living through today. But these markets are not the only places capable of spreading disease. Right now, here in the United States, Animal factory farms are breeding grounds for disease, which pandemic experts warn could cause the next global outbreak. Just think about it. Science aligns with common sense. As we're told to stay at home and avoid large crowds, we're simultaneously cramming tens of thousands of animals wall to wall inside giant factories. It's been called by public health officials an ideal laboratory for pathogens to thrive, recombine, evolve, and then eventually infect people. In these factory farms, it's standard practice to force animals to live in small, filthy cages. Mother pigs are locked in iron cages so small they can't ever turn around. Egg-laying chickens are packed into tiny cages that prevent them from even spreading their wings. Baby veal calves are confined in crates that barely allow them to move an inch. These animals suffer in these cages for nearly their entire lives, for public safety reasons. Let alone to stop this cruel treatment of animals, legislators need to pass laws mandating factory farms move to more humane, safer models by phasing out extreme confinement. 12 states have already passed laws to begin to do just that. It's a start. Now we should always look to science and eliminating cages of farm animals won't guarantee that we'll prevent the next global pandemic, but it's a huge step in the right direction. The food industry also has a serious role to play to reduce disease risks. Here's how. The industry should accelerate its movement away from its reliance on meat, eggs, and dairy in favor of putting plant-based foods front and center. We already know eating more plant-based foods can lower the risk of type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, cancer, and heart disease. It's not only beneficial to our dietary health, but it will also reduce the need to raise farm animals by the billions and risk future zoonotic disease outbreaks. This crisis has been a global nightmare. Let's learn from it to finally take action scientists know we should be taking to at least reduce the risk of perhaps even future worse pandemics to come. We need policymakers and food companies to take urgent steps to address the ticking time bomb that is current farm animal confinement systems. All that is required is the will to change. And it's vital that we take that action now.